Through its research and convenings, the Center on Philanthropy and Public Policy seeks to make philanthropy more impactful today and to create a smarter, stronger sector for tomorrow. I think that foundations operate best if they maintain their independence from government. Government is driven by a whole set of factors uh, that complicate the operations of foundations. It's called politics. If foundations begin to entangle themselves too deeply with government, pretty soon government will begin to do a lot of the things that they will often do. Try to direct your program, co-opt your program, tell you should be, uh, who should be on your board, who should be on your staff, and that sort of thing. I don't have anything against working with government. Foundations have actually achieved a lot over the decades in working somewhat in cooperation with government, but we maintain our independence. We go in on our own terms. We come out on our own terms. If you look at the whole charitable sector, they are all getting grants of one kind or another from the federal government. And in order to do that, they have to meet various criteria the government establishes. And so I was always very careful to make sure that whenever we made a grant, that we went through all the steps we needed to go through. Do we know why we're doing this? If somebody criticizes you for this, can you give an account of yourself? Your grant program is really only as good as maybe your weakest link. Your poorest and your weakest grant may be the one that gets all the attention. And all the good work that you might have done otherwise gets washed away in that kind of thing. And when that happened to us a couple of times, I wanted to raise my hand and say, but, but look at all, but it, it didn't matter. It's much more difficult today, I would say, for foundations to make breakthroughs in public policies. Uh, we've got a very polarized environment uh, politically, and I, I think this makes it difficult really for foundations to achieve that very much. They have to join one side or the other in order to get anything done. I think foundations generally like to have a kind of a plan that makes sense above politics. And it's very difficult to find that, the consensus for that kind of thing today. I think foundations probably succeed better when they can define a, a narrower mission. When Congress passed the Tax Act in 1969, partly in response to some of the things the Ford Foundation had done, there was a, an element to that bill which said that all foundations in the United States had to be sunsetted within 30 years. That almost became law in 1969. I think that some foundations will go out of business, but new fortunes will be created. Uh, new industries will be invented. Uh, people will become rich off those. They will circulate that money back through philanthropy. And the system will continue to churn out new philanthropists over a period of time. I have a great faith that that will happen if we let the system operate.